I've got one bottle of rum and five easy cocktail recipes for you. How nice is that? Today we're putting the spotlight on rum. I'm sure you all have a bottle waiting for you somewhere in your home bar. I'm using Havana Club 3 years. This bottle and all the other bottles we're gonna use today were included in our 10 bottle selection to start your home bar, so check that video if you haven't. We're also gonna use a couple of syrups. We also have a video to show you how to make this syrup, so you literally have no excuses not to try these five easy recipes. So go grab your tools and let's go make some drinks. Let's start with the beach cumber. In a shaker, start with one and a half ounce of light rum, three quarter of an ounce of triple sec, half an ounce of lime, and a bar spoon of maraschino. Fill your shaker with ice, give it a good shake for five to 10 seconds, and serve it in your favorite glass. To garnish, I use a classic lime wheel because there is no reason not to. It's a twist on the classic daiquiri spiked with delicious triple sec and maraschino. So if you love a classic daiquiri, you should definitely give this one a try. Next, we're making El Presidente, one of my all-time favorite rum drink. Grab your mixing glass, start with one and a half ounce of white rum, a three quarter of an ounce of white vermouth, you can use dry vermouth too, a quarter of an ounce of orange liqueur or triple sec, and finish with a bar spoon of your homemade grenadine, of course. Fill your mixing glass with ice, give it a good stir for around 30 seconds until it's really chilled. Serve it in your favorite glass. And garnish with a little orange zest. And that's gonna be perfect. So the El Presidente is often described as Cuba's answer to the Manhattan cocktail, was created in the early 1900s the recipe had many variations over the years and this is my favorite way to make it. If you love rum, you will love this one anytime. Now, the Elixir Tropical. If you love a classic daiquiri, you should definitely try this one. In your shaker, start with two ounces of your rum, three quarter of an ounce of lime, half an ounce of orja, which is almond syrup, quarter ounce of maraschino, three dashes of angostura, and three fresh mint leaves. Fill your shaker with ice, give it a good shake for five to 10 seconds until nicely chilled. Double strain in your favorite glass. For garnish, I use a lime zest. So this one is another take on the classic daiquiri using orja, which is almond syrup, and maraschino to bring a nutty vibe and a touch of sweetness to this killer drink. Now let's make the fireman sour. In your shaker, start with two ounces of white rum, one ounce of lime juice, freshly squeezed of course, half an ounce of your homemade grenadine or any quality grenadine you can find. Next, add an egg white. Now the first thing we need to do is to dry shake, so shake without ice for 15-20 seconds to emulsify the egg white. Next we add ice and give it a good shake for five to 10 seconds. Finally, double strain over ice in a low bowl glass. Wow, look at the texture. So this one is very accessible and simple to make with only three simple ingredients. You can omit the egg white if you don't want to use it, but I really love the smooth and foamy texture it brings to the drink. If you look for a substitute, Aquafaba has the same effect. And finally, let's make the Queen's Park Hotel Super Cocktail. One of my favorite, I know I have many favorite. In a shaker, start with one and a half ounce of your rum, half an ounce of sweet vermouth, half an ounce of homemade grenadine, half an ounce of fresh lime juice, and two dashes of Angostura bitters. Fill your shaker with ice, give it a good shake for around 10 seconds, and serve it in your favorite glass. So this combination of sweet vermouth, grenadine, and Angostura bitters adds some incredibly pleasant complexity to this super smooth cocktail. For garnish, a lime twist will do the trick. The color is so vibrant. I have literally never met anyone who doesn't like this one. It's a must try for any rum amateur. All right, that's a wrap for this selection. Five easy 
rum drinks, one for every day of the week or one for every weekend. Do as you please. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please let me know if you tried one of these or any of these. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you next week for new adventures in the cocktail world. Have a nice weekend. Cheers.